Feeding the river. Koana wishes to gather your companions for the upcoming rescue mission. Oh, maybe the rescue mission is going to be a dungeon. Sounds like a big endeavor. We need to gather our forces. Dungeon. Dungeon. Firstly, allow me to brief everyone on our present situation. Please do. Thus, at the very least, we believe this Hubigo knows where Lamati has been taken. Thancred shadowing her boat even as we speak, and I should like to join him with all haste. Unfortunately, our quarry is the foresight to release your man- I'm just gonna say manatee. I don't want to say punity. <laughs> our manatee from its harness, leaving us without means to give pursuit. Aaronville, as an expert on wildlife, what are our chances on recapturing the beast? Probably not great. With the right mix of feed, it can be done. I should like an extra hand to help scatter it about, however. We put fish food out there. Would you accompany him, Gaddis? Alright. Maybe I'll hear some backstory about Aaronville while we're doing this. Meanwhile, the rest of us should work on getting the harness repaired. It appears to have been damaged when the manatee was let loose. Yes, fi fix the Stargate thingy. With all the peddlers here in camp, we should have little trouble purchasing replacement materials. As for any necessary metalwork, Earthen Shadow's artisans are but a short walk away. This seems like a lot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, this this works, but is it not simpler to just get a boat? If we're near, like, some docks, there's not just, like, somebody else's boat we can just buy and not have to, like, catch a thing, fix this stuff, reassemble <laughs> Like, so many extra steps. Let us divide the tasks and have at it. Level my crafting job so I can fix it. <laughs> Alright, Aaronville, you and me. There was an unusually aggressive herd of wild manatees downriver, so our girl will have fled in the opposite direction. Come, we'll try the waters upriver. It's like the animal whisperer. Assuming our manatee has come this way, she'll be hiding in the depths of Marsh uh, Lagaka. We need to lure her back to the shallows with the promise of food. Wild manatees eat mainly aquatic grasses and plants, but the tame ones are often fed vegetable scraps. Knowing this, I added leftovers to the feed I prepared. This should help the mixture stand out against the marsh's natural scents. Okay. Ligaka is crawling with predators, however, so I'll leave it to you to scatter, scatter the feed deeper in. I'll be, I'll be waiting for you near the shallows with the rest of our manatee's enticing feast. So, mini game for manatee capture? Why is it like, but this is really shallow water though. Is it just gonna be flopping in the shallow water? All set. I've just finished laying out the last of the bait. Step back and out of sight and leave the rest to me. Oh, here she is. Is it really? <laughs> it really is just flopping around. Shh, there's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, he is an animal whisperer. <laughs> we just need your help one last time. You're hungry, I wager. Come, come on, come with me. Just don't eat me. Yes, that's a good girl. He's huge. <laughs> We'll be fine here, I think. I'll give her a few more treats, then lead her over to the boat. You can let Kona know we have our manatee back. Nice job. Aaronville has the manatee in hand, then. Good. I expected nothing less from a certified gleaner. As for the harness, we are able to purchase all the parts we need. The Love of Year twins are over in Earthenshire right now, having the pot sworn make the repairs. I'm told it shouldn't take too long. 
We'll be ready to embark on our rescue mission as soon as we heard for Thancred. So where did Thancred go? Just watch him also now be kidnapped. <laughs> now we have to save both him and Wuklamut. Oh, here we go. Okay. We have the Aether Current, which means this will get resolved. Thancred must know something by now. You found her! Understood, thank you. Ah, he's always reliable, that Thancred. I had but to invoke his name. Thancred followed the Hubigo's boat to its destination and confirmed they are indeed holding my sister captive. Can he just take care of them? <laughs> he is a gunbreaker. They, of course, being Bakul Jaja and his minions. I swear I will make them regret this. Okay, well, I guess we do need to help him then. Lamati is in rich leaf tunnels. The moment the harness is repaired, we strap in the manatee and make our way back down to Ikukamatu, whatever that is. I mean, are there rules against just killing Bakul Jaja for this? Wait, this is right near... <laughs> Why didn't we just go back to the dungeon? <laughs> that was near the, the end boss for the dungeon. It's funny. A little reused assets. Thank hey, thank Grid. Oops. Shit. The third promise is up ahead. She's unharmed, but we best not dally. Why even bother kidnap her, unless it's to try to force her siblings to give up, to give up their claim? Because otherwise, if she's co a competition, just kill her. Not, not that they should, but I mean, like, from his point of view. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> spitting up bubbles. pathetic feet. Far more satisfying to claim the baubles by force. Oh. Give it back! Fosentan poured his everything into that stone. He's no right to touch it. I thought he got his own person, though. Why does she even need to take it if, like, didn't he acquire an artisan? Oh, no, no, no. That was Zeralja. Never mind. Oh. Was that the name of your artisan? <laughs> How could you allow something so precious to be stolen? You thieving cheat! You're no true claimant! <laughs> what does that make the foolish kitty who fell into my trap? If pitiful roars were all it took to claim the throne, you'd be first in line. Now, now, brother. You shouldn't tease her. Look, the poor thing's on the verge of tears. Shouldn't you be, like, cutting your, your your ropes or something with your big claws right now? Pretend. If this was, like, a, like a not a James Bond, but, like, one of those kind of action hero sort of things, she's trying to bide her time while she has those big-ass claws on her fingers and she's, like, slowly cutting the rope behind her. Yeah. Someone save me! Or not. <laughs> I guess they're not gonna do that. Oh! Did you just shoot him in the head? <laughs> his scales are as thick as his skulls. Alright, a man after my own heart. <laughs> just kill the guy. I know I've said it plenty of times. Coward! You dare ambush me? What? Okay. You don't have any room to complain about that. Tis the blessed sibling's favorite tactic. Oh, that useless Buddha was sick of it. He was supposed to keep the lackeys running in circles. Oh, you must tell me all about that. <laughs> Load up some different ammo, man. Like some armor penetrating shit. Doesn't Uriange have rescue? Just yank her away. Oh. 
Oh boy. Scared kitty face. Okay, you're pissing off the Warrior of Light, which is a big mistake. <laughs> oh, am I gonna like Hulk out? Oh, he's so mad. I'm just <laughs> walking past all the small fry out of my way. They can do nothing while we have. Oh, I'm just the diversion, I guess. <laughs> Let me just let me smack him with my paintbrush. Just let everybody else look cool. I mean, I guess I looked cool when I was walking. Oh, nice catch! Impeccable timing. <laughs> oh, Amachi, <laughs> are you all right? You smashed me. I, thanks to you. All right, so we kill him now, right? <sighs> These weaklings think they can defy us. We'll slaughter a lot of them. Patience, brother. The keystone is ours. There is no need to fight this day. And Zoranja has left us hurting. No, no, don't listen to that head. No! Good. <laughs> I won't stop until I got these maggots and feed them their entrance. If we fall here, we fail our siblings for nothing. Is that what you want? Don't listen to him. You took the fucking keystone, so that's a bigger problem. No, brother. Break off! We retreat! Don't let him fucking attack him! <laughs> oh, what is this? Are they teleporting? How about somebody just hit him or something? Okay. I love how we don't do anything when it's really important. <laughs> Who cares about a flashbang? Why didn't I just nuke them with my hammer? <laughs> They're staying still, for Christ's sake. Oh my god. I'm sorry, that's one of the things that super annoys me. Nobody's moving. They've clearly said they're going to run away. They have an important thing they stole from us. And we just go, oh shucks. They're gone. We head back. How much he is safe. And that is what matters. But we're one less keystone, so now we're at a disadvantage. Did, did she, like, cr dislocate his shoulder when she landed on him? Okay. <laughs> I think they used the same sound effect as when she landed on him, because it sounded, like, out of place with Hoogle! <laughs> Instead of just, like, a ah, or something like that. Uh, I am glad to see you unharmed, Lemity. Thanks again for coming to my rescue, Kona. And all of you, too. Akul Jaja must be desperate indeed to resort to such aggressive tactics. I shouldn't have been so careless. No, you really shouldn't have. I underestimated him and it cost me a keystone. Anjantanen upended his life so I could accomplish the Moblin's feat. He believed me, believed in my cause, and I've let him down. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't feel good. <laughs> what I don't like is the second we don't babysit her, shit goes wrong. Which means it's like she can't be trusted to just even do her own stuff, which is not a great sign for a leader. Contest isn't over yet, so we take back what was stolen. We won't let Bakul Jaja take, get away with this. We need to take back what was stolen. So we take back what was stolen. Gaddis wants blood. He wants to paint Bakul Jaja red. <laughs> yes, we'll do exactly that. The next time I meet that brute, I'll knock him straight on his scaly behind and take back my keystone. 
This is the wrong music for this. Speaking of vengeance, didn't Bakul Jaja curse some useless Bunawa sycophant when he caught sight of us? A reference to Surreal Ja, I would assume. He is devoted to our brother and is the only Bunawa I know of participating in the Rite of Succession. So we track his ass down. If Surreal Ja was somehow involved in this. See, I don't think he is. I think... He's just looking the other way while Surreal Jaw is doing his own scheming. I will never forgive him for putting our sister in danger. He will have forfeited his right to be called brother. I don't know if he cares about that. Oh wait, they haven't seen him get mad before. <laughs> so now he's just showing everybody his rage. Gotta regain your poise. Ahem. Bakul Jaja should face punishment, of course, but so must the bandits who had the temerity to abduct Lamati. I shall request that Father send a contingent of Landsguard to enforce the law in this region. I agree that measures need to be taken to keep travelers safe. But I wonder what pushed these people towards a life of banditry in the first place. I mean, profit? <laughs> if we dig deeper, we might find a way to improve things for everyone. How about we save that for later, though? I swear to God, if you do a quest for this right after this, instead of us going to see the, the giants, I'm going to scream. It's something to think about. For now, however, the right continues. Thank God, Kona. Thank you. <laughs> I thank you all for your help. All right, see you guys. We should be moving on as well. Are you feeling fit to travel, Wuklamat? You bet I am. Zoral Jaws gained a good head start, and it's time we clawed back some lost ground. We had to claw back even more lost ground, though. Give me the aether current. <laughs> I really am sorry this happened. From now on, I won't let my guard down around suspicious strangers. I mean, that you shouldn't have been doing that to begin with. <laughs> but, I mean, you can't change what's happened. And again, I do appreciate you all coming to save me. Freedom! History's Keepers. <gasps> Finally level 93! <laughs> it's taken this long. Uklamat has her sights set on the Yakhoi village. Oh, I think this is the village from the benchmark trailer? The road beckons, friends. Let's be on our way to the Yakhoi. And it's back to where the path through the mountains begins. You remember, the spot where you were tricked into walking off with a Wakwesa? <laughs> He just wants to rub salt in the wound there. Okay, Erinville, I get it, but like, not helping. <laughs> just gonna rub my face in it like that, eh? I wonder if he's raising my hackles on purpose, though. You know, trying to keep my anger directed at him instead of myself. Or maybe keep you focused so you don't make that mistake again? Either way, we can't be standing around here all day. We have a lot of lost time to make up for. Maybe Aaronvel should be the <laughs> the Dawn servant. That would be the big twist, where none of these guys get it except for Aaronvel. The one who doesn't want it the most deserves it the most. I couldn't leave without letting Red, Ro Red Rock know what had happened, so I stopped into Earthenshire to say a few words before moving on. And now Aaronvel's nowhere to be seen. Couldn't you wait a few more moments? Uh, so much for giving him the benefit of the doubt. Come on, let's catch up. I want to give that smug gleaner a piece of my mind. I worry Wook Lamont would agonize over the loss of her keystone, but it seems I had nothing to be concerned about. Onwards and upwards, then. A 
As I'm sure you've noticed, the air grows thin at this elevation. Take it slow until your body adjusts. Deep breaths. Drink plenty of water. A few more steps and we'll be in Warlar's Echo. Oof, I think I'm getting used to the air up here. So this is the place from the Lay of Proof where Papa met with the Yak Hui. Oh wow, they look weird. Big eyes. And that must be them. I don't think I've ever actually seen one outside of a picture. So it is for most Turali. The giants rarely visit the lowlands. Here in the mountain fastness, they tend to do the solemn duty they pledged to undertake their pact with the Dawn Servant. To watch over the Tural Vidral Valar Gamanda and maintain its prison within their temple. Oh, so it's locked up specifically here? Interesting. Ah yes, Wuklamat told us about the Tural Vidral, creatures that live for far longer than normal and awaken to strange powers. Indeed, yet even amongst those anomalies, Valar Gamanda is unrivaled in strength. It has endured for centuries, bringing catastrophe each time it emerges from its lair. As you learned in the Lay of Ice, it was Galul Jaja who at last managed to imprison the beast, and it has lain dormant in the temple ever since. It's said that the building still bears a gaping hole in its, cent in its ceiling from when Valgamada was lured inside by Galul Jaja's final ploy. I'd like to see the strongest of all Tural Vidral. I wonder what it was like to fight it. It's probably very much like a trial. <laughs> very familiar trial. Warlar's Echo was where both the Lay of Proof and the Lay of Ice took place. Does this not suggest we'll be facing two feats this time? Yes, let's speed it up. <laughs> let's speed up the Keystone acquisition. I am in full agreement of this. That's a question we can just ask the Elector once we find him. Or maybe we should flush out Bakul Jaja so I can beat my Keystone out of him. I mean, if you think you're tough enough for that. Uh, let's, no, let's, identifying the Dawn Servant's Elector should be our priority. Identifying the Dawn Servant's Elector should be our priority. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I suppose we still do have four keystones to earn, and no matter what we do, the contest will pit us against him sooner or later. Alright, let's seek out the Elector. Then I suggest we pay a visit to Karyazar the Gracious, or so their temple is called. The Moblins told me that the High Luminary Gurfurler <laughs> is to be found there. If we were to ask somebody for information, then he seems a wise choice. So what is the naming convention for these guys? Let's see if I can convince the guards to let us through. Alright, how high is your persuasion check? <laughs> I am Wuklamat, third promise of Tuliolal, and I seek that you're elector for the right of succession. May I speak with Gorfurler? The High Luminary has granted admittance to the claimants. You may enter. Oh, that was easy. Ah, oh, that was easier than expected. We go in then. Voice dialogue? Damn it. <laughs> Seemed like it would have been a perfect time for that. Gods, is that... I, Father Garmanda. I was just like in a big ice crystal. A big phoenix... dragon bird? Welcome. High Luminary Gurfurler? Nope. I don't look fancy enough for that. He is not here at present. I am Luminary Zermerwer. <laughs> okay, so that's how their names go. Got it. Zermerwer. This is Skyruin? Valgramanda? It is. The Tural Verdral, whose name has evoked terror since time immemorial. 
Even my people, once conquerors of all beneath the sun, were as brittle leaves before Valangramada's tempestuous power. When the sky ruin descended upon Urkapacha eight decades ago, the casualties were staggering. Had, Gugul had Galul Jaja and his companions not intervened, we would have been slaughtered to the last. Does it have a hat on? Or is that like a horn? <laughs> Interesting. Their titanic battle with Valagamanda raged for ten days and ten nights. As their foes fought on, tireless and relentless, our heroes were pushed beyond their limits of their endurance. Thus did the Head of Reason concoct a desperate plan. The little Jaja tricked the Skyruin into losing control of its own ice magics, causing the unwitting Tural Vadral to encase itself in frozen ether. Once again, the Head of Reason being the, the game changer in all this. It's been like this ever since. Nice work, Papa. But what happens if the ice ever melts? Well, then we gotta fight him again. That same question looms large in our minds, for the magic sustaining his prisons grow weaker with each passing year. Valagarmanda commands power of fire, lightning, and ice. Some believe that the violence of the recent storm was the result of those energies slipping free. That raging tempest from Valagamanda. Setting future worries aside, you are come to attempt the feat of proof, yes? The High Luminary, chosen elector of the Dawn Servant, has left me with instructions for all aspiring claimants. You are to scour our forbidding mountains, mountains and find the waiting Gorfurler. That is to be your challenge. I hope you like hiking. <laughs> ah, so the search itself is the feat. You've already spoken with my brothers, I take it? I have. Their expeditions are underway. And maybe the, the hike is the dungeon? Then we better pick up the pace. Aye, but we'll need a direction to search in first. Let's see what hints we can gather from the, <laughs> the zero of three villagers. God, Svalagamanta is enormous. I know Papa had friends with him, but it's incredible he could hold his own against that thing. Should its prison ever fall, though, we can't expect the old guard to come running. It'll be up to us to save the day. I mean, there's no more old guard, right? Because, like, he already lives longer than most creatures. He had a, what? A Rogadin? A Hanu Hanu and something else with him in the flashbacks? They're probably all dead by now. <laughs> The feat of proof, Alphano would share his strategy for information gathering. As we've just been informed, the feat of proof requires us to seek the high luminary Gerfurler somewhere upon these mountains. However, if earlier feats are any indication, we must assume the challenge precludes the Yakhoi from answering any questions in a straightforward manner. Thus, I would ask you to pay close attention while attempting to divine Gerfurler's whereabouts. Uh, I wonder if they're going to make this like a variation on, um... The whole selling fish quest in uh, <laughs> in Endwalker, where you actually have to like try to guide your way to the right answer. Though the giants may not give us precise location, there may be clues hidden within their words. Such is my theory, anyway. Let's see what we can discover. Mini game time. Oh, maybe not. Just gather information. Let's let Alpha know figure that stuff out. How about that? Your Gur War. The High Luminary? No, I've not seen him lately. Now let me ask you a question. That Zerbral who came out of the temple earlier, was that really the third promise? She seems rather unimposing. How is she meant to succeed the mighty Galul Jaja? I mean, I guess a lot of other things look small compared to these guys. Zerborlor. Atuliolan? No, you're from farther away than that, I think. 
As for the High Luminary, I can only guess where he might be. He is Warder of the Sky Ruin, but also Keeper of the sepul Sepulchres, and his duties often take him outside the village. Okay, so not here, basically. Which is kind of what we already knew, I would think. Unless he's like hiding in a corner, <laughs> so we're trying to be all sneaky. What's he doing? Oh, he's making some designs. That's nice. Asking after the High Luminary as well, are you? I know not where to find him, but I do hope you have the opportunity to speak together. He's a great man with a deep reverence for our traditions. These glyphs we carve, for one, he affords him as much value as any treasure we possess. They are records of our lives lived. Your arrival too, I will etch into the stone that the story of our meeting may endure for untold turnings of the sun. If you're curious about our ways, I bid you visit Proof to the northwest of here. It's one of our grave sites. First things first, was anyone able to coax forth a definite location from the High Luminary? Uh, no. As expected, what then of clues or other hints might point us in the right direction? I heard that in addition to his usual duties, Gerfurler is also charged with keeping the graves. As did I, the Yakui's sepulchres appear to hold a special significance in their culture. Hmm, but it, would it be appropriate for us outsiders to enter into their burial grounds? I mean, he said to visit. Proof, you say, and he encouraged you to visit this place yourself. Well, then let's go and take a look. Even if we don't find Grafurler there, it'll give us the chance to learn more about the, uh, the Yakui. The gravesite is somewhere north of here? Well, we can leave that for the side of the village... We can leave from the side of the village for a start, shall we? Oh, little cry. Am I gonna hang out with Kryle? The others have gone ahead to proof, following the trail west. There are sharp drops everywhere, so we're all moving at our own pace. Some of us are not built for craggy terrain. I thought to get my bearings from up here first so I don't stumble off a cliff. Why don't you try catching up to Aaronville? You should be able to point you in the right direction. My tiny Lalafell legs. Take a look at this crater. There's no wood, no trees, not even dried grass, and yet the ground still burns. This must be one of the scars left behind by Valagramanda's rampage, as told by the saga. Wait, so this just permanently is on fire? The Sky Ruins fires are just- oh, okay. Right, it is. The Sky Ruins fires are described as eternal, flames that can be quenched by neither storm nor time. And here I thought it was a literary embellishment. Ah, uh, but now I've lost sight of Wuklamot. Proof is northwest along the main road, so hopefully she's still heading the right way. <laughs> I mean, what's the worst that could happen? She's not going to get kidnapped twice, right? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> Wuklamot wins again. Again? Just winning it all would be good at this point. It feels like we're kind of always scrabbling just to kind of not lose ground. Looks like everyone's here, so... Greetings, friend. Are you Gorfurler? No, I am not. The High Luminary did, however, task me with providing a lesson on sepulchres, or sepulchres to those who came in search of them. Oh, so we were meant to find our way here after all. Are you to tell us who is buried here? No one is buried here in the sense you mean. When a body has served its purpose, we consign it to the flames, then scatter its ashes across the peaks. Moreover, we do not conceive death as uh, we could we do not conceive of death as others do. For us, a person does not die when their heart ceases to beat, but only when they are no longer born in the hearts of all who know them. This is why we build our sepulchres before age or mishap claims us, that we might etch ourselves into the living chronicle for all eternity. An interesting concept. Has that really shown up for other cultures in Final Fantasy XIV before? This grave belongs to a good friend. His mortal vessel ended its journey some years ago, but he lives within me even now. Up there stands my own sepulchre. 
As long as it ex exists, so too will I. I will endure in the hearts of those who read my grave glyphs in the same manner my friend does in mine. Has it always been thus for your people, this, con uh, this conception of existence and death? Okay, their big eyes kind of freak me out a little bit, though. <laughs> this, is, this is really large eyes. Continue along with this path to the in indelible passage. Behold the history upon its walls, and you may find the answers to your questions. And that's what we'll do. Your traditions are fascinating, and I'd love to know more. Next time. Well, I guess <laughs> we have to keep going up here and finding more anyway. I thank you for allowing me to share them, and for in doing so, I'll remain in your hearts also. I definitely feel like I've known that narrative from other things, about the whole concept of, like... You are Im immortal so long as other people remember you. You only truly die when there's no one left that remembers you. Hello! A fellow we met at Proof suggested we come here. Yes, the High Luminary commanded that I watch for your arrival. As the chroniclers of our people, it has ever been my family's duty to pass on the teachings of the murals from generation to generation. Oh, wow, that one's really detailed. It's actually kind of hard to make them out a little bit. <laughs> There's so much detail. Remember how simplistic the, the Shadowbringers once were on the wall <laughs> by comparison? They really are magnificent, and together they tell the tale of your people's history. They are the events which shaped us. I would share them with you ere you continue on your way. Uh, please, we'd love to hear all about it. Oh, God. I feel like I'm echoing myself from earlier saying like now it's just becoming even more aware where it's like here's the the lore dump here's the exposition section although almost all of it is really exposition at this point then I'll begin what is that this first mural depicts a time more than 1100 years ago an age of great prosperity for the Yakui Blessed with size and strength unmatched by other peoples, our ancestors marched forth and brought much of Yakhtaral under their dominion. Then, when all before them had been conquered, they turned their gaze northward, seeking to expand their territory and power. Here we see the expedition to Zakhtaral. Unable to cross the strait by ship, our forefathers set to building a bridge to the northern lands, a grand labor which consumed the greater part of a century. Zorgar the Boundless. We still make use of that bridge in Tuliolal for travel. I can't imagine the patience and dedication it took to complete a work of that scale. It's almost like a detriment that the, the murals are so detailed, because with the texture of the, the, uh, the rock wall, it kind of actually makes it hard to see what's going on in those murals. <laughs> but I've never heard of any of the Yakui living in Zakhtaral. What happened to the ones that went north? Look upon this next mural and behold the answer. Like, see the the rocks here? And then, like, it's it, it has so much little, like, swirls and other stuff. It kind of makes you have to squint to see more of the detail here. This scene suggests that many giants perished all at once. Does it? I'm not even sure where I'm, I'm seeing crying people. Well, I guess these are tombstones. Even that, I had to, like, kind of take a second. What manner of enemy could have repelled their invasion? A foe unnamed and unseen. When the expedition pushed forth into Zakhtaral some thousand years ago, its soldiers were felled by a disease. Some terrible illness? No. No virulent p plague or a, a newly arisen blight. For the local Tanwada and Shatona, it was but a mild affliction of the sort that comes with the turning of the seasons. What manifested for them as slight fevers and cough, however, proved deadly to our people. <gasps> they get the Final Fantasy COVIDs. Out of every ten Yakhui who joined the Northern Campaign, nine succumbed to the infection. Those who survived continued to suffer, finding it difficult to sire offspring. I've heard of this before. Lacking an inherited resistance, visitors to distant lands can fall deathly ill to diseases a local might shrug off. Yeah? These events might also have given rise to the practice of cremation rather than the burial of mortal remains. 
Oh, that one's brighter, at least. This final mural de depicts the return of our grieving brethren to Urquipacha. The reason they first left, why they fought so long and pushed so far, was to ensure peace for our homeland. This undertaking began in ancient times, when our forebears learned they shared the continent with peoples unlike to us in appearance or custom. They feared invasion was inevitable. Rather than meekly awaiting their fate, they decided to strike the first blow. Yet as they fought on and on, the old idea of peace drifted further and further away. Only after the disaster in Zacharal and their withdrawal to the mountains did they come to understand. The peace we envisioned had been ours for the taking all along. It was here, in the place which birthed us, here, in the stones upon which we recorded our days, here, in the tranquil life we had traded for conquest and conflict. When you do nothing but fight, it can blind you to what's right before your eyes. And so we return to the present. I trust you found this brief history of our people enlightening? Yeah, yeah. I'm always glad to learn more about my fellow Turali, how you've lived until now and how you wish to live from now on. Then I believe you're ready to proceed. The High Luminary bids you meet him upon the summit of Warpor Zomor. I had a feeling we'd end up scaling that big old mountain, but it's a feat worthy of the name. Follow the trail south of here to begin your ascent, but be wary. Beyond the entryway, the mountainside is home to ferocious beasts, both mundane and otherwise. Oh. Ah, so the mountain is probably the dungeon. We'll keep that in mind. Thank you for the warning and the lesson. Dungeon. Dungeon. <laughs> Finally, we know where we're going. The top of Warp... Uh, Warcore Zormor. Ugh, this thin mountain air, it's gonna be the death of me. Well, uh, how long have you been standing there? I, I was just taking in the scenery is all. <laughs> oh, Alize. Come on, we don't want to fall too far behind uh, Alphano and the others. I was trying to be tough. You remember how the Chronicler was saying the more they fought, the further away they moved from their idea of peace? It occurs to me that if Zeral Jaws attempting the feat of proof, then he will have heard that same lesson. I don't think that's gonna stick, though. I can only hope that it's made him reconsider his own stance on educating people through war. I would not hope too hard on that. <laughs> A high luminary. Wu Klamat gazes up at the summit of Warcore Zormor. Dungeon, dungeon. <laughs> Give me stuff to hit. Or to paint, I guess. Gods, that is one tall mountain. And we're supposed to climb it? Uh Yeah, that does sound kinda of, kinda of steep. What? Oh. Armed ones. <laughs> Do not expect to walk here unchallenged. Tell me, stunted ones, did those short legs bring you all the way from Tuliolal? He's speaking the old Yokhui tongue. The words are difficult to catch. Oh, nobody know. Does does Warrior of Light know what what's being said? Though your words are crude and cumbersome, <laughs> I use them for your benefit. You are a claimant in this right of succession. Yeah? That's right. Then, if you die, Tuliola loses a potential ruler. Uh. So we gotta it's just kill you, I guess? Say, friend. <laughs> I get the feeling you don't share the opinions of the other Yokui we've met. We do not grovel before Kulul Jaja like those shameless lapdogs. My brethren and I are. 
conquerors, and we will restore our people to their rightful place, Asturas overlords. This, this reminds me of Midgard Swarmer from like ARR time where whenever he talks it takes like a fucking hour to finish his sentence. <laughs> Just say it faster so we could kill you. The giants have their own factions too, it seems. You think your kin weak for showing deference to my father, but they do not follow the man. It is his peace they respect, a peace they always wanted which they realized could be had right here. Justifications of the Craven. They turn a case from our ancestors. From the dream we kept alive. Got it, okay. <laughs> they are unworthy of bearing our Legacy. I will. Re no, you won't. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you right there. Ascension <laughs> begins with the death of the third promise. Start the fight. Stop. I don't want to fight you. Men die on your knees. <laughs> Wait, what? Bro? What the? <laughs> Who is this? What? Opportunistic vermin seek to fist on us, do you? Get <laughs> down here! Your neck <laughs> will be the first! I snap this day! This fucking Pokemon came down, knocked him over, and flew away. <laughs> oh, it's a crystal bird. Maybe it's hel a helper bird? No, why you save them? No, no, just let them die. <laughs> That's right. While, while it turns around and just stabs you in the back. He's like, I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> the bird's like, ew, paint, ugh. <laughs> it would be more impressive if you saved the guy that was talking shit rather than the random dude. I didn't put much thought into it. My legs were moving before I knew what was happening. I suppose I feared you'd die before we had the chance to get to know each other. Before I could learn more about you. Okay, Luffy. <laughs> Channeling the whole Luffy thing. I'm so curious about everybody, even if they're enemies. To what end? Oh, that's simple. I'm going to be king of the pirates. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if we're to share the land, it's the best way for us to become friends. So it always reminds me of how he manages to, well, not all his enemies become his friends, but he does manage to sway quite a few people along the way. How is he? He'll live. Not quite ready to walk under his own strength, however. Man, you guys are wusses. Just one wing blast from a bird and you're almost down for the count? <laughs> if you could stay and tend to him, the rest of us will continue on to walk or Zormor. Understood. Be careful up there. This changes nothing. We will not forsake our conquest. As you like. You want to kill me, you're welcome to try. But right now, 
You might want to worry about your comrade. On a mountain of that size, there are bound to be creatures even I've never heard of. I'll trust you to lead the way. Then we climb. Gufurlor is waiting. Bing. Bing. <laughs> Did the, the, the dungeon thing. No? Isn't this a dungeon? Come on. No, that's not what I wanted. The other one. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Hoping for some pretty sights and sounds. Oh, whoops. Oh, I need to change my portrait back. Oh. What is all that? <laughs> some some flashy uh what the hell? <laughs> Inflating birds? What? <laughs> what the fuck are those? <laughs> okay. Uh right. Eat that French toast. Nom nom nom. What are these called? A snow warbler? I mean, that sounds kind of cute, but. I wonder if. Uh... I wonder if Luka Lamont can, can handle a wall-to-wall -wall pull. I'm probably pushing my luck, but... <laughs> I have you now. Wait, she's just using Vercure? Is that even efficient? <laughs> I mean, I've used Vercure on myself before. Like, in an in a emergency situation. Maybe after this I'll try to I'll try to pull wall to wall in the next one and see if she eats it or not. <laughs> I am kinda curious. I remember when Thancred and Is it Thancred and Uriange were in one of the dungeons? He could actually kind of handle it, but it was it's still pretty dicey. Alright, this might be that, that is a lot. Well, let's see what happens. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Coming over, you assholes. Okay, so far so good, actually. Don't tell me Alize is actually a good healer as a red mage. That's kind of crazy. Oh shit. Either that, or they knew people would try to pull wall to wall and they started increasing the NPC healing ability. <laughs> Maybe that's more accurate. Let's see, what does she do? Vercure? Oh, she has different levels of Vercure. How fancy. Unless they actually... Has it, anybody been playing Red Mage past 90? Do you actually get more Vercure levels now? Or is that just an NPC thing, maybe? Alright, okay. So we can do wall to wall. Well then. What is that Pokemon? It's like a, a snow Pikachu. Ryogor Terta. Oh my god. The little wand? It looks cute, which means it's gonna be a big pain in the ass, probably. Oh, 
Oh god. No. Uh, okay. His own minions and ice. What's that mean? Oh shit. Fluffle up. Okay. Oh shit! No, no, no. You underestimate me. Oh, whoops! I totally thought that it was going to go in order of what happened there. Never mind. I read that wrong. <laughs> Wait, it has like wings like a beetle in the back? Or like a bug? Or is that a cape? Oh shit. Um Try this. Oh fuck. I guess I can just stand where they are. Not try to reinterpret it for myself. Oh, okay. Interesting. What the hell? Crystal Men. Come on over here. There you go, Luke Lamont. You can handle it. Oh, wait. Alright, so they definitely made it more possible to, like... Like, she's not really in danger. I remember before, if you tried to pull wall to wall, the tank could potentially get pretty low, if not outright, like, murdered. So, they've definitely let you pull wall to wall now, which is nice. Ooh. Let's do it again. Oh, Zeral Jaw. You caught up. Seems like I've been toying too much with my prey. That was unintended. Oh, there he goes. You had to find another path. Think of it as an added test of your resourcefulness. Yeah, sure. Ring of Casting. Oh, is this one better? This actually might be better than... Yeah, finally better than that one. Okay. Here we go. Necklace of Aiming. No, that one's not gonna be as good. Oh shit, okay. Playing around there. Yeah. Alright, let's go. I think this is probably gonna be like the, the mini, the middle boss. Whoa, what the hell? That's a big boost up here. Oh, it's the crystal bird. 
So now we get to kill the big crystal bird that caused those giants such problems. What's it called? Candor-your. Okay. Now, Luke Lamont, you wanna fucking aggro this? Okay, good. <laughs> God damn it. Shattered into pieces? What does that mean? Interesting mechanic so far. Oh shit. That yellow was a, was a little hard to see initially. Slowly being covered in crystal. Oh shit. for some reason that she's going to limit break as a healer. I don't trust Alize with the, the LB bar. I guess it, it hasn't built up, so she can't, even if she wanted to. I wonder if that was, like, what they specifically programmed for her, or it ended up just being something funny that, like, her AI kept doing. It's very, like, in character for her. Clamont, you piece of shit! Oh my god. It's the last time I help you, you fucking ungrateful. What? Oh. <laughs> I was like, why are they gonna all try, try to get me killed? <laughs> Let's grab some more. So high up. Okay, this is probably the last batch before the boss. I'll handle the heat. <laughs> there she goes again. There we go. Our last chance for some unusual loot. Slaying earrings? No. Bye bye. Oh, 
Oh. We gotta fight the big boy. He's significantly larger than the other <laughs> the other giants. Holy shit. Gerfurler. I am Gurfurur, elector of the doll servant. Prepare to be tested. Oh wow, what is happening with your arm here, pal? That looks pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> Stretching of this shoulder muscle there. <laughs> yeah, I wanna wanna redo the skinning for that that the character model maybe. All right, so we just kick his ass and we get a keystone. Easy. How hard could it be? Oh, you are worthy to rule. Stone work. Is that Break out the fury of erupting beaks. Oh, okay, I got it. Oh shit. That's a lot faster than I thought it would be. I'm gonna get hit hard. Alize, heal the <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, red mage healing is uh interesting that it can be done. Return the hunger of roiling waters. Alright, well that's the easy one. I will take the measure of your resolve. What? What is that? A little extra <laughs> symbols. Or did they just update with <gasps> Okay. Implacable strength of the mountain be mine! Oh no. Uh okay. What? Oh wait, oh oh no, we want these! It's like that fucking was it Stormblood dungeon where you want to take these things before they touch the guy? And then he, he smashes the ground with, like, a giant fist. What the fuck dungeon was that? This is the same thing, though. No, Alize, no, no. Spirit of my brethren, your thunder roars! Is he gonna pound the ground as well? This is basically the same thing as visually it looks different. But you should endure my fury. Uh, what is this gonna be? Green? Chronicles of Hell! Recall the cruelty of merciless storms! Okay, I guess just wherever. Oh shit. No, no twisters. Me no likey twister! Oh god damn it. Ah, stay away. Two at once, which is gonna be fun. Water and the stupid shit. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, okay. Please, though. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> they never adjust for me. They do the healer's adjust thing, but impact me with it. <laughs> oh! Let me break. The crowds. Kral's too polite. Kral is the opposite of Alize. She's like, I don't think I want to do the limit break. I'll let you do it. But I also won't tell you when to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to give you the opportunity to totally waste it if you're not careful. Yes. All right, give us a keystone and we'll be on our way. <laughs> ha! <laughs> I imagine with the 
that slash happy emote we were doing earlier. Ha ha! <laughs> fucking Ellison dorky, like, happy emotion. What a weird beard. <laughs> it's all bulbous. Very good, Clement. Once more, I name myself Gur Fulur, High Luminary to my people, and chosen elector of the Dawn Servant. At least he talks faster than the dude that was at the base of the hill. You are much bigger than the others in the village. All your Kui were once my equal in size, but ever since we were decimated by disease, it is rare to see a child reach our former stature. You speak of the contagion which afflicted the Shak Tural expedition. The one recorded in your murals. It is a chapter of our history that is entangled with the legend of the Golden City. I've heard that legend originated with the Yok Hui. Is this true? With the visions our ancestors had, to be precise. Visions? Did they have the echo? Preceding the campaign into Shak Tural, many were visited by dreams of glittering splendor. Oh. They described a paradise that knew neither war nor famine, where people lived lives of eternal happiness. Okay, this shit sounds too good to be true. A single dreamer might have been dismissed, but when dozens, if not hundreds, spoke the same, the luminaries became convinced it was divine revelation. <gasps> then the expedition. Its purpose was to find the city of gold, yes. Help was marshaled from all the territories under our control. Lands were scoured on a massive scale. Huh. I'm very suspicious of the City of Gold. Too many people have made it sound like, oh, you live forever and ever and everything's amazing and nothing sucks and... <laughs> like, what? Ah, little wonder the legend is so similar across Tural. Those involved with the search would have passed the stories down to their children. Huh, yeah. Oh, they finally caught up. Where did Zeral Jaw go, Another though? Another claimant, I see. Oh. I will test <laughs> your worth, as I have tested those who came before you. You're gonna have a- you're gonna three-man this? I guess we could watch from the sidelines. What is that? He's drinking some, like... Gatorade? <laughs> Round two. Mm? Oh, see, he likes Here it. Here and now, I think he means. I, I still feel like, some from some angles, Thancred looks super young now. <laughs> Call me crazy, but I kind of wanted him to have maybe, a, like, not wrinkles, but like, the whole tired eye thing from being so angsty for so long. Maybe he's had a long rest and a vacation and he's refreshed now or something. Oh, you don't get to see? Okay, so they passed, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure they passed the test. <laughs> Let's just pretend that they did. Oh, wait. Why is Ariage? I need to take a minute. <laughs> did they not pass? Oh, okay, they did. <laughs> Initially, I was like, okay. It looked a little dicey there for a second. <sighs> well fought, second promise. For you and your sister's success in performing the feat of proof, you both shall be rewarded. Give us the candies. The fruit gummies. So what color is this one? Green? Green Jolly Rancher. She seems to be the only one that, that immediately puts them into the Three tablets. Nobody else seems to do that. <laughs> I wonder why. 
They all just keep it in like a bag, maybe, on, on their person. How glorious it would have been to race thee and thine to the summit. Though mayhap not whilst being hounded by Bakul Jaja and his minions. So they ran across him. Again, that swine shows his disdain for the right. Strangely, despite his eagerness to antagonize us, he withdrew as soon as we fought back in earnest. I cannot fathom what he was trying to achieve. I wonder if he's in actuality a coward. <laughs> like when somebody actually starts uh, presenting a real threat to him, he's like, oh, <laughs> I mean, never mind. I gotta uh, make a strategic retreat. On a similar note, I'm also curious as to why you chose the peak of Warcor Zormor for the conclusion of this feat. Oh, I was gonna get a music change for this. The earlier stages saw us learn the history of the Yokui. Does this location also hold some special meaning for your people? Yes, it is a place of great significance. I'll be crazy, but that tower in the background kind of reminds me of, uh, what, what was that shit in Stormblood, Heaven on High? <laughs> I didn't check to see if it actually goes as high as that one. Probably not. All these monuments. Is this a burial ground? Every high luminary before me is enshrined in this earth. Alongside them are the heroes who bravely stood their ground when Vali Armanda brought ruin to Urkopacha eight decades past. Hmm, that explains why there are so many. Zorolja, I should have known you'd arrive here first. Oh, uh, wait. <sighs> Where was- why was he somewhere else? This dude's scheming something. Ah! Third promise. How relieved I am to find you in good health. This guy thinks he's like a main character. <laughs> he's talking more than Zeralja is. Zeralja, you bastard! I should end you here and now! Yeah, why not? Kill him. Do it. Remember where you are. Oh. You will mind your conduct or you will leave. What? But okay, I guess he doesn't know about that dude. Right. <clears throat> Sorry. I see no reason to delay further. Show me my father's sepulcher. Oh, he has one here. Papa has a grave? I mean, that makes sense. The guy at the, the base of the grave site said that they make them, like, in advance so they can just add shit to it, like, as they go. I mean, I would say normally that's a little morbid, but considering the way these guys value memories and, like, keeping people in your hearts and minds, like, so much, it makes sense. Upon this monument are inscribed the names of those who sealed away the monstrous Valley Garbanda. Your fathers included. Gulul Chaja, Master of Resolve and Reason, Champion of Peace. Look at this one. Ketanram. Navigator of Uncharted Oceans. Oh, that dude. I wonder if he was the, uh... Did they ever say what race he was? Because they, in the flashbacks, amongst the different people that would travel with, um... Uh... With Galul Jaja, one of them is always like a Rogadin. Not a Rogadin, a Hrothgar. A male Hrothgar. Ketanran? The Lamintan Explorer? Does this mean he joined Galul Jaja on his travels? Oh, and there was also Rogadin, though. Kafkiwa, Seeker of the Unknown. How strange to see your name here. It was unheard of to build leaving sepulchers for those who were not Yokui. But their great deed demanded recognition. Hmm. 
Okay. Master of resolve and reason, champion of peace. Papa really did some amazing things. He carved his path with martial skill. I mean, he hasn't seen the stuff we've seen. If anything, I've been more impressed by that sleeping head as opposed to the awake one or whatever. Yet it was clever thinking yeah. which allowed him to trap Valley Garmanda within its own ice magics. Martial skill and clever thinking. Hmm. I can't compete with Zorolja's mastery of the Head of Resolve's techniques. And when it comes to knowledge, Kona's the one who most takes after the Head of Reason. So I'm just the... <laughs> so where does that leave me? The chest? <laughs> Is there anything that I've gotten from Papa? Something I do better than the others? Oh god, they are gonna say that, aren't they? It's going to be his heart! <laughs> Because there's nothing else there! <laughs> the, the stomach, yeah! <laughs> oh, I get to say something. You have his love for peace. What else defines your father aside from strength and knowledge? Let's not just give her the answer. She needs to kind of learn these things on her own. Let's ask the question that maybe leads her to it. What else defines your father aside from strength and knowledge? What else defines your father, aside from strength and knowledge? I feel like we keep giving her cheat sheets on stuff. What else defines him? She needs to figure this stuff out herself. Oh, of course. Papa's love for peace, for his people. That is what he's given me. And I'm fighting to preserve the peaceful Tural he built! Okay. Still waiting for, for how that's supposed to be done, but okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's not the crystal bird we fought what before. What the hell was that? Think I got a trial to kill? Is that shit waking up finally? You must return to Warlar's Echo immediately. Oh. Valigar Manda has broken free. Okay. <laughs> trial, 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 trial. <laughs> kill the bird. I presume that was about the unholy sound. Wait, is there enough of us for eight man Valigar trust Manda trial? <laughs> now that th thank Red and Uriage are there as well. We need to get back there, now! I really liked the trust trial from N. Walker. It, thematically, it was very nice. Although I think I accidentally got Astinian killed. <laughs> so we stood on the same spot and he went kablooey, because he's a dragoon. <laughs> How fortuitous. We have been gifted an opportunity to outpace our rivals. See, there's some, okay, there's some sketchy going on here. He's like, like, whispering in his ear about this stuff. Zeralja has not explicitly stated anything underhanded. He's actually been very direct in just his warmongering, which, you know, whatever. But this dude is trying to do some little, like, smarmy, like, oh, but what if we do this? I want him to shut this guy down right now. Good, you're back. There's much I would explain, but by the time I arrived to investigate a sudden surge in ether, there are already fallen giants everywhere. Right now, everyone is preoccupied with treating the wounded. Pray catch your breath and then lend a hand when you can. 